Okay, good morning, class. Okay, but before we will proceed to our topic for today, or for the lesson for, the, for today, may I ask everyone to please stand up. Okay, let's bow down our heads, close our eyes, and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, good morning once again, class. But before you will take your seats, um, may I ask everyone to please pick up the pieces of papers under your desks, under your chairs. Kindly pick it up. Okay, good. So now you may take your seat. But before we will proceed to our topic, may I have first your attendance. So, um... Say present if your name is called. Damian. Okay, good. Becky. Anya. Where's Anya? Oh, there. Aris. Jill. Jack. Rose. Okay, there's Rose. Ashley. Jade, Jasper, Stephen, Ash, where's Ash? Oh, there. And Lloyd. Okay, there's Lloyd. Okay. We have perfect attendance. And now, we will proceed. Uh, I mean, before we will proceed to our topic, I have here an activity for you. So this will serve as a review or a recap to our topic yesterday. Do you still remember our topic yesterday? Okay. Who among you here still remember the topic yesterday? Okay, let's see. Let's see if you still remember the topic yesterday. So all, all you have to do is to match the correct landforms to the correct Word. So I have four items here, and that is all you have to do. So who will answer number one? Who have their idea to the um, picture? What is the name of the picture? Okay. Um. How about Rose? Mhm. Mm okay. Let us see if your answers is correct. Okay, it is mountain. Very good. Clap your hands. Okay, very good. How about number two? What might it be? Do you still remember? Okay, may I have Damian? Okay, volcano. Let us see. Let us see if your answer is correct. Okay, very good. Clap your hands. Okay. How about number three? Who could answer number three? Anyone? Oh, yes, Jade? Hmm. Is your answer correct? Let us see. So the answer of number three is heal. Very good. You got it right. Clap your hands. Okay, very good. How about number four, the last number? Who among you here do still remember this one, this picture? Okay. Uh, may I ask Jasper? Okay, there's a lot of fans. Jasper, what is your answer to the number, th number four? Okay, let us see if your answer is correct. Of course, it is correct. <laughs> so, yes. That's right, it is plain. So the answer of number four is plain. You got it right, everyone. So you still remember our topic yesterday. But for now, we will jump off to the new topic. Okay? So, lend me your ears, guys. Eyes on me. Okay, very good. Now, we have these classroom rules. 
So first one is to listen carefully. Number two, follow directions when the teacher gives them. Okay, you should follow the instructions. And number three, work quietly. Okay? Do not disturb others who are working. Then number four, respect others. Be kind with your words and actions. So let us be kind to each other. Then number five, respect the teacher, school, and personal property. So we must respect each other. Okay, do you understand now the, um, do you get the classroom rules? Okay, very good. Now, I have here another activity for you. So, this activity is a jumbled word. So, I named it a fix me. So, all you have to do is to arrange the letters to find what is the correct word or the correct answer. So, who will guess number one? Who will guess? Ooh. There's a lot of ends. <laughs> May I request, um, who's this? Oh, Anya. What is your um, guess in number one? Is it sunny? Let us see. Let us see if your answer is correct. That is right. It is sunny. How about number two? Who could guess? Oh, Stephen? Mm -hmm. Let us see. Okay. That is right. It is rainy. Very good. How about number three? Who could guess number three? Ooh, there's a lot of ends. Who could guess number three? Okay, may I request Ash? So what is your answer for number three? Is it windy? Let us see if your answer is correct. That's right. It is windy. Very good. You guessed it. How about number four? How about number number four? Who could guess? Hmm. Okay, who could guess number four? How about Jane? Okay, Stormy, let us see if your answer is correct. That's right, it is stormy. Very good. How about number five, the last number? Ooh, there's a lot of hands. <laughs> okay, um, let us see. How about Aris? Where's Aris? Oh, there. What is your answer for number five? Okay, is it cloudy? Let us see if your answer is correct. Okay, that is right. It is cloudy. That is right. All of your answers were correct and you have guessed it correctly. Okay, so now let's proceed. So what words have you found? What are the words have you found, everyone? So it is sunny, rainy, windy, stormy, and cloudy. So those are the words that you have found on to our activity a while ago. So now, this is the topic for today. So it is all about the weather. So it is all about the weather. Okay, so now I will present to you the objectives for this lesson. First, um, Describe the weather and the different types of weather conditions that is you have to do and I mean to be able to do and the second one is to identify the different types of weather the number three draw and illustrate the different types of weather so those are the objectives that we have to aim on this topic or on this lesson okay now so what is weather okay before we will proceed to that one 
who among you here have the idea on what is weather? What is about weather? Okay. Okay, may I ask Ash? Okay, what is your um, idea when you hear the word weather? Okay, it is a condition. How about um, Lloyd? Where is Lloyd? Oh, there. What is your idea when you hear the word weather? Okay. Mm. okay it is all about the atmosphere. That's right. It is all about uh, the condition of the, at the atmosphere. Okay. This is, there is a, a definition about the weather. So what is weather? Weather is the state of the atmosphere describing, for example, the degree to which it is hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or stormy, clear or cloudy. So it is what the sky and the air outside are like, such as cold and cloudy, sunny or rainy, windy or stormy. So that is weather it is the condition of the atmosphere okay okay so that is weather so there are five main types of weather and those are sunny cloudy windy rainy and stormy so those are the five types of weather okay so now let's first tackle the sunny so it is sunny okay so i may uh, may i request jill to read what is on the presentation okay thank you jill so sunny it is um sunny weather days are days when there are very little or no clouds in the sky. So it is just plain blue, blue sky. So that is sunny. So we usually experience more sunny days in the summer when the days are warmer, okay? So you could um, identify it is a sunny day when there is sun shining brightly and um, there are little clouds or even no clouds at all, okay? You could only see a blue sky. So that is sunny. So rainy. Who could um, read on the presentation? Okay, may I ask Jack to read? Okay. Okay, thank you, Jack. So rainy. Rainy weather days are days where heavy clouds are pouring water or it is a condition of the atmosphere where the water falls from the sky so that is rainy weather days okay so it is um, a pouring of water okay so that is rainy as you can see we could also um in those days we we usually use Umbrellas, raincoats, right? Oh, okay, so that is rainy or rainy weather days. And the third one, windy. Who could read on the presentation? Okay, Ashley. Okay, thank you, Ashley. So it is windy. Windy weather days are days where there is a strong breeze or air that you could even feel in your cheeks. So that rush of air is the wind we experience. So number four is cloudy. Who could read the presentation? Okay, may I ask Jade? Okay, thank you, G. So, cloudy. Cloudy weather days are days when the sky is 
cloudy. So it so the the sky is full of clouds. So it's full of clouds that you can see the sun. So we could identify if the day is a cloudy day because we can't see the sun. Okay? We can see the sun. All we can see on the sky is just lots and lots and lots of clouds. So that is cloudy or cloudy day. Then, stormy. Who could read on the presentation? Okay, Jasper? Okay, thank you, Jasper. So, stormy. Stormy weather days are days where there are strong winds and heavy rain. So, during a storm, there are thunderstorm, the sky is dark, lightning flashes, and thunder cracks. So you can identify if this day or uh, yeah, if this day is a stormy day when there are heavy rain, okay? When there are heavy rain and strong winds. So kung sa bisaya pa nagigibagyo na, diba? So that is stormy. So you could also see um uh, uh, thunderstorms Lightning cracks or lightning flashes, and the sky is dark. So that is how you can identify if it is a stormy day. Okay? So now, have you understood? Now, the five types of weather. What is the first one? That's right. It is sunny. So sunny are weather days with very little or no clouds at all. All you can see is just blue sky and the sun is shining brightly, okay? So, how about rainy? Rainy days where, uh, where heavy clouds are pouring water, okay? That is rainy. Then, windy. You could, uh, you could feel that strong breeze of air. Right? That rush of air in the wind that we experience. So that is windy. Well, cloudy is, you can, you can identify cloudy day when there are lots or when the sky is full of clouds. So, okay? You can identify that that is cloudy. Or today is a cloudy day. And stormy is when you um, experience a strong or strong winds and heavy rains. And then, um, makasinati sa kaog, kanang kilat, and thunderstorms, and abitaw. So that is how you can identify that it is a stormy day. So now, okay, so I have here an activity for all of you. But before that, um, let me ask everyone to count one, two, three for your groupings. Okay, start with Damian. Okay, very good. So now, all group ones are here. Group two and group three over there on the back. Group three. One, two, and three. Okay, go to your respective groups. Okay, I have here your visuals. So, just uh, please listen first. So, on group one is uh, your activities all about name me. So, all you have to do is draw a picture or an icon of the different types of weather condition on the manila paper. So the manila paper will be provided to you. And then write the word that specify the picture or write its name or word that specify the picture. So that is all you have to do for group one. You Do you listen? Group one? Okay. Um, group two. So this this is all you have to do. For group 2, 
It's all about find me. Okay? Find me. So, all you have to do is to encircle the words that is related to the lesson and write your answers in your paper. Okay? So, you have your separate paper and I will provide you the manila paper for this um, table. Okay? So, that is all you have to do. You just encircle the word that is um, that is related to the topic that we have a while ago. Diba? So, all you have to do is to encircle and then write your answers onto this separate um, paper. For group 3, okay, listen group 3. So, your activity is all about match me. Okay? So, all you have to do is to match the picture to the description or name given. So, that is all you have to do. Okay, group 3, do you listen? So, you have to match the picture and uh, to the description. Okay? Okay, so you have understood, everyone? Have you understood the directions? Okay, so I will give you here. Okay, do you have your group leaders now? Okay, group leaders for group 1, group 2, and group 3. Kindly get your manila papers here. Okay, this is for group 1, group 2, and group 3. Okay. So, that is all you have to do. And you have 5 minutes to answer your activity. Okay? You have 5 minutes. And before I will give the... Uh, I will play the timer... I will give you first the rubrics for the group activities. So, I will give five points to each group, okay? I will give five points if the group shows eagerness and cooperation to do the task. Exhibits leadership in accomplishing tasks. So, that is five points. And for four points... Shows eagerness and cooperation. So you you will got three points if um, you shows participation with teacher's supervision, and you have two points um, to complete activities with little participation. So if you have that, uh, if you remember group leaders, rem remember if you're. Um, member has less participation, then you will get two points, okay? So, you will get one point if um, if you present but shows no interest in participating. So, group leaders, encourage your member and member, okay? Just all of you guys must have teamwork, okay? So, that is the rubrics for group activities. Okay, so you have five minutes to answer your activities. Okay, so everyone, you may start now. Okay guys, you only have one minute. 
sunny, then rainy, windy, cloudy, and stormy. That's right. And how will you identify what type of weather condition is today's going to have? How will you identify? Okay, how will you identify if it is sunny day? Okay, you will identify it by the presence of the sun. If the sun is shining brightly and the clouds are, um, there are minimal clouds and the sky is blue, so we can um, identify that today is sunny. We can identify if today is rainy day, is a rainy day when there is a pour out of water, okay? Uh, uh, water um, fall from the sky, okay? Then we can uh, we can identify if it is um, windy if the breeze there is a rush of wind, I mean the rush of air, okay? That is that is having a, a strong wind, so that is how you will identify if today is a windy day. Then you will identify if today is a cloudy day if you can see in the sky there are lots of clouds and you can't you can't you can't even see the sun because the sun is gonna be on the block by the clouds so you can identify that today is a cloudy day and then stormy day we can identify that it is a stormy day when how can we identify it if it is a stormy day? Okay? Okay, that's right. That is right. So you can identify if it is a stormy day when there are thunder, there are lightning, there is a heavy rain and strong wind. Okay? So that is how you can identify if it is a stormy day. That is right. Okay, good job everyone. Okay, now, okay, let us have your evaluation. Okay, kindly get your papers and pens, of course, and let us answer you the evaluation. So, it is for everyone, ha? Hindi na to for groupings. It is for everyone now, okay? So, it is an individual work, okay? So, all you have to do is to copy the paragraph. Okay, listen, listen everyone. Okay, good. All you have to do is to copy the paragraph below and provide the correct answer on the blank. Okay, you have to copy this one. You have to copy this and then you provide the correct answer on the space provided. Okay? So, have you get it now? Okay, so I will still give you um, maybe five minutes. Is five minutes okay? Or maybe three? Okay, so just copy and you may start answering. So first copy the, uh, the paragraph. Okay, time is up. Everyone, time is up. So raise your pens, raise your pens if you're done. Okay, how about? Okay, good, good. Everyone is done. Now, um, you may uh, stand up and then form a big circle. Okay, good. And then, you may exchange your papers counterclockwise. Okay, one, five counts only. Ready? Go. One, two. Three, four, five. Okay. So you may take your seats. Okay. Take your seats and let us answer the evaluation. Okay. So it is blank day when the sun is shining, the air is warm, and the wind is weak. What day is the day? What is the weather? On the first sentence, it is blank day when the sun is shining. When the sun is shining, okay, everyone? 
Okay, please. Your answer is? That's right. It is sunny day. We'll answer the sunny day on number one. Here. Sunny day. Number two. Okay, let's proceed to the second paragraph. So, it is blank day. When the sun is, uh, when the sun cannot be seen, the clouds are dark and the rain is falling. Okay, what is the answer? What is the weather? Okay, that is right. It is, it is, it is rainy day because of the rain is falling. Okay, let's proceed to the next sentence. It is a black day. When the sun is shining, clouds are slightly darker, or dark or clear, and the air is blowing hard. When the air is blowing hard, what weather is it? Anyone? It is a blank day when the sun is shining, the clouds are slightly dark uh, or clear, and the air is blowing hard. What weather it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. It is windy day. Okay, that is windy here. Windy on the third one. Because the air is blowing hard. Okay, this is the key. Uh, key word here. I mean the key. Yeah, the key word here is the blowing heart. So that is windy. And then the fourth one is. Let's proceed to the next sentence. It is a blank day when the sun is not seen, and there there are plenty of slightly clouds. Yet the rain is not falling. So what weather is this? Anyone? What weather it is? Huh? It is a blank day when the sun is not seen. Hindi nagikita yung sun. The sun is hiding. And there are plenty of slightly clouds, yet the rain is not falling. So what weather it is? Okay, that is right. That is cloudy. So it is cloudy day. And the last one is, let's proceed. It is a black day when there are dark clouds, heavy rain, lightning, and thunder. Okay, so what is the weather? What is the weather? It is blank day. When there are dark clouds, there are dark clouds, heavy rain, and lightning, and thunder. So what weather? There are lightning and thunder. Okay, very good. That is stormy day. Okay. Sunny, rainy, windy, cloudy, and stormy. So who got the right answers? Hmm? Okay. I guess I guess everyone. So that is right. You have gotten the correct answers. So now So for your assignment, kindly um uh, kindly pass the papers to the front. Okay, here. Okay. Please, Damian, um, have the papers and give it to me after the class. Okay, after the class. Okay. So, for your assignment, kindly get your assignment notebook and write this on your assignment. Assignment. Uh, on your assignment notebook. So, your assignment is. In preparation of the next lesson, draw the basic types of clouds. If av available, use the internet or any science book to get details about them. So that is your assignment. Okay, you can um, copy it now. Okay, are you done everyone? Okay, thank you. So that is all. Okay, so that is all you guys. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for your participation, everyone. And yeah, see you tomorrow again. God bless us all. And yes, I love you with the love of the Lord.